So chart of account is the list of GL accounts. Why we need to have the chart of account transaction code OB13. Anything you are going to do chart of account is mandatory. Suppose we will configure some account determination then chart of account is required. If you want to create the GL master then chart of account is required. If you are going to do some mapping integration chart of account. So all transactions will be managed through this chart of accounts. Okay, so there are different type of chart of accounts are there. One chart of account is your operational chart of account. Another chart of account is your country specific chart of account. And it is created at client level. Third one is your group chart of account. Operational chart of account is mandatory. This one is required without operational chart of account. We can't proceed. Country specific group chart of account as per the business scenario or as per the need. Let's say we have uh, three company codes are there. Company code 1100, 1200, 1300. We are manufacturing laptop. So here our product is laptop this company code we are using for marketing purpose like if you'll see the hindustan universe limited they are not manufacturing anything it is doing the marketing and distribution different companies they are manufacturing hindustan universe just doing the marketing so similarly within the same entity same group we have another company code they are doing the marketing activity so here no manufacturing it is just marketing and distribution but ultimately this company books of accounts we are maintaining this one is for supply chain logistic the cost of the laptop is 5000 for this company code or for this entity now they are transferring the product to another company code within the same and they are adding a profit margin of 200 now they are purchasing at a price of 5200 Okay, they are also going to add their expenditure. They are selling because ultimately they are also incurring expenditure for marketing. So they are adding their profit to another. They are selling to another company code internal. It is known as your internal stock movements cross company code transactions. So they are adding another profit margin of 300 and they are selling to five five double zero to a 1300 company code. Now 1300 company code is going to add the profit margin and selling price will be determined. It is known as your uh, <clears throat> when this company code they are going to evaluate their inventory. So 5k when they are going to evaluate that is known as your legal valuation. So two concepts are here. One is legal valuation. So when they are going to do the legal uh, inventory valuation, so legal valuation. So le as for the legal valuation stock price for 1100 it is. 5000 for 1200 it is 5200 and for 1300 it is 5500 this is your legal valuation and for this legal valuation by default you need to have the leading ledger so at leading ledger just now we define the leading ledger label you need to have the uh, inventory valuation inventory valuation just one example i have taken like this any transactions so for this we need to have our operating chart of account okay don't think that only for this activity we need an operating chart of account i'm just i have taken here one example so operating chart of account is required for this activity but at group level means your company and company is let's say 1000 at group level also we are going to do the inventory valuation so that time it is known as your group valuation so at a group level what is the cost of inventory whatever the internal profits are added those should be eliminated and the cost is 5k 
because internal profits are removed here. So inventory evaluated at group level that is 5K and this will be maintained through group chart of account. So for operation point of view, operating chart of account required and for group valuation point of view, group chart of account required. This is one, one example like this, wherever you need to have intercompany transactions are required, then group chart of account is required. So how we will maintain this group chart of account? For 1100, you are going to create one chart of account. Let's say chart of account is X, Y, Z. This is your operational chart of account. Similarly for 1200 also, you are going to maintain one chart of account. Let's say this is A, B, C. So one operating chart of account, you need to assign to your company code, which is mandatory. Now, let's say we are going to create one more chart of account, P, Q, Z. And same way how we have created X, Y, Z, same way we have created ABC. Now this P, Q, Z, we are going to assign to X, Y, Z, and we are going to assign to ABC. Now it becomes the group chart of account. So whatever the intercompany transactions we are going to do, so that time group chart of account is required. For normal operation, operating chart of account, then for group level reporting, like this is an, one example, or any invent, uh, asset we are transferring from one company to another company code. So in that case, it will be your group chart of account is required. So operational chart of account for managing the normal operation for one company code, and for countries, uh, group chart of account, I already explained. Country specific chart of account, very rarely we are using. For example, <clears throat> in one particular country, certain rules are applicable and it is not applicable everywhere. It is just only for that country. So for example, a separate tax settings you are going to have. Some specific settings are required. So those settings we are going to manage with a country specific chart of account. In general, it is not applicable. So in that case, Suppose, uh, let's say you have maintained one ledger as leading ledger. With this leading ledger, we are going to assign two accounting principles. That time you are asking this question, IFRS and I will local gap. Let's say we have operation in UAE. And in UAE, certain rules are applicable. Certain specific rules are applicable and which is normally not available in other countries. So in that case, this one we are going to use for our global operation and under the same ledger for UAE we are not creating another ledger for UAE only for a specific purpose which is they have the deviation so better we will create one more chart of account under this same ledger and that we are going to assign under parallel accounting so that time you have to activate that parallel accounting so IFRS will be there local gap will be there this will be assigned with my operating chart of account and this will be my country specific chart of account. All three creation options same through OB 13 only we are going to create the chart of account. Only thing is how we are going to use it. How many chart of accounts we can assign to a company code? Two. That is your operational chart of account we can assign and we can assign the country specific chart of account. So two chart of accounts. Two chart of account can be assigned to company code. This is one certification question. Okay, so it is operational country specific group chart of account. We never assign to company code because group chart of account we are assigning to the operating chart of account. You can see here PQZ assigned to XYZ and ABC. Now it becomes the group chart of account. Just keep in mind we can assign one company code with two chart of account and that is operating and your country specific. Any question on this? Why we need the chart of account? Function of chart of account? At chart of account level, we are going to define the length of GL. And this length will be anything you can define 1 to 10. So your length should be 1 to 10, anything. GL length, length of GL. At chart of account level, we are going to maintain your 
language. In which language you are going to maintain the GL language of GL? These two functions we are going to do at chart of account level. Fine. Sir, I have a doubt regarding group chart of account. Hmm. Yeah, if we are maintaining group chart of account and uh, assigning multiple operating chart of accounts, so how that group chart of account uh, uh, configuration of working will be, whether it will be normal or separate, it will, it will have any difference because it's supposed to eliminate some transaction, right, sir? No, no, it will not eliminate some transactions. It's only specific transactions we are going to do at chart of account, op group chart of account level. Normal operation will be done by operating chart of account. Okay. But if any group reporting is coming, so whether- that group chart of account uh, is required. Okay. That means that you are going to use two chart of accounts in that company code. Independently for the company codes. Only for the reporting purpose, we'll go for a group chart of Group account. chart of account, yes. Every transaction we are going to manage with operating chart of account only for intercompany transactions. And my example, inventory valuation for group, group level. Legal valuation, operating chart of account. Group valuation, group chart of account. Okay, why well, you asked means like you mentioned in the example that uh, for laptop example, so mm -hmm. there is uh, that group chart of account is identifying that uh, value means inventory valuation at 5k, right? Sir? So there actually there there is some logic required to capture that 5k because uh, that in this case we have three operative chart of account, right? One one double zero and one two double zero and one three double zero. No, 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 yeah. no. Th those are company codes. 1100, okay. 1200, 1300. These are company codes. But chart of accounts will be different. Separately, you have to create. Yeah, that means three operating chart of accounts will be there, right, sir? Yes. So that that will get assigned to a one group chart of account. All three will be assigned to one group chart of account, correct? So group chart of account reco uh, re means report is showing that inventory is valued at five five k. So for that, uh, it's not like a normal operating chart of account configuration or- Okay, you are saying no. For that, uh -huh. if we will particularly, we will do this configuration, then material ledger settings required by okay. using group chart of account. Okay. Inventory valuation point of view, specific configurations you have to do. The use of group, uh -huh. only just you are going to add a group chart of account, automatically inventory will be not valuated. Then for that material ledger, yeah, yeah. stock transfer settings will be required. But for okay. that group chart Which of account is required. All the scenario, like- like this, all this scenario where wherever we require these kind of things, then some specific configurations required. That bu okay. every business pro process should be supported with its own configuration. Okay. I'm saying the use of group chart of account. Why you need a group chart of account? So this is one example where you need a group chart of account, but again followed by the respective configuration. Fine, so I'm going to create chart of account, then I will come back here. Here you will find it, general ledger accounting, then go for master data, GL account, preparation, edit chart of account list. Chart of account, four digit anything you can take, so I'm using S007. This will be my operating chart of account. Chart of account label, you are maintaining the language, the length of GL. So I'm taking six. That means I'm going to create my GL master range as six digits. If you have a group chart of account, which is the same way you are going to create, that you are going to assign here. If you click here, you will get the list of chart of account, which I have created in this client. Okay, so something you need to assign here. And the same chart of account, when you will assign to other chart of account, it becomes the group chart of account. So creation option, same, OB13 only only like what purpose we are going to use. So that will be your group chart account. Okay, if you want to block any chart of account, click here, it will be blocked. So right now I have created one operating chart of account, which we will assign to our company code. Sir, can you please cl clarify in the blocked dot option? Block chart of account means one chart of account we don't want to create. This chart of account, it is under, let's say it's a rollout project. So we are adding some new functionalities, a newly chart of account created, but still it is not at go live because the moment you will create it, then it will reflect in the list. So temporarily we can block it. That means we are not using it. It's just blocked.
So you are saying that there is no removal or deletion, only blocking. Why you will process. remove it? Because in future anyway we need it. So temporarily we can block it. Okay. If suppose uh, something has went wrong or something like that, whether we can uh, delete it or we can what, keep it. As what a will block. what will go wrong means which one? Chart of account I have created uh, means un, means it's not wanted because I created wrongly or something like that. Is there any scenario first of all, whether we can First of all, it? whenever you are going to do anything in the development system, each and everything should be approved by client. So there will be no scope that something wrongly created. Because if it is there in the blueprint, then only you are going to configure as a developer. Practice system, anything you can create, anything you can delete, it's okay. So you can delete it. Okay. Just suppose I want to delete, I can delete it. Uh, here it is just a new entry option is there so you can delete it suppose I want to delete it, I will select and I can delete it so technically you can delete it but business point of view if anything is created means there is a supporting requirement is there then only you can configure but yes okay. you can delete but why we will delete it is there in the under phase that blocked option will be used it is under there under like it is in required in future we need it so but all the configurations are not done so that is why temporarily we can block it okay okay so here you can see two options are there operating and country specific group option is not there so group chart of account we never assign to company core chart of account maintained in future i will add one more chart of account that will be our group chart of account once the particular scenario will come for the timing it is not required 